For number 11, it says graphs of the following equations are straight lines except. So you're looking for the one line here that will not be a straight line. There's a bit of a trick to this. So there's something in math when it comes to graphing called degrees. And what a degree means is you're basically looking at the highest power you see on the equation. So if you have x without a exponent or any number without an exponent, that's a degree of one. If you have x with a two or any number with a exponent of two, any variable I should say, that would be a degree of two. And, by, and the same thing following three and four and five and so on. What this means is the degree changes how the graph is going to look. If it has a degree of one, it's gonna either look like this, like this, or like this, straight lines. If it has a degree of two, it's either gonna look like this, like this, like this, or like this. These are called parabolas. And if it has a degree of three, it's going to look like this, or like this. Those don't really have a name for them. Um, so just by going off of this and comparing them to these, you can see right away that x squared has a degree of two, meaning it's going to have a curve in it. So D is your answer, but I'm gonna show you how to check your work if you wanna be sure of this. So I'm going to draw a graph. And we're going to make a table. So this table is going to be our x-axis, our formula, and our y-axis. So if we're going to use this formula, we're going to plug this in right here. Okay. So when it comes to finding y, you can pick your number for x. Typically, you want to start with small numbers to make your life easier. You always want to throw in some negatives. So we're going to start with negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So when you're solving for y, all you're going to do is plug this number into your equation. So we're going to have negative 1 squared plus 3. We're going to have 0 squared plus 3. We're going to have a 1 squared plus 3, and we're going to have 2 squared plus 3. So negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1, which equals positive 1. Plus 3 equals 4. 0 times 0 is 0, plus 3 equals 3. 1 times 1 is 1, plus 3 equals 4. 2 times 2 is 2, plus 3 equals, or 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 equals 7. Now, we have our x-coordinate and our y-coordinate. Remember, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. This is the negative side of the x-axis, this is the positive side of the x-axis. So we're going to start with negative 1. Negative 1 is going to be right here, and our y coordinate is four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. This is negative one dash four. Next, we're gonna do zero, three. Zero is the origin. We're gonna go up three. That's going to be right here. Next, we're gonna have one and four. We're gonna go positive one and then go one, two, three, four. Now we don't really even need to do two because we can already see if we follow these dots that it curves right here. That is how you can double check if your answer is D.